our second method for adding uh, an alcohol across an alkene is uh, totally analogous to oxymercuration, demercuration. We call it alkoxymercuration, demercuration. And the key here difference here is in step one with mercuric acetate, instead of including water, you can pick the alcohol of your choice. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole mechanism here, but this is still going to go through a three-membered ring with mercury as your intermediate, so it's still a mercurinium ion. So, but in this case, instead of water coming in and doing backside attack, so it's your alcohol that's going to come and do backside attack on the more substituted carbon break and open that ring. So, again, I'm not showing the whole mechanism here, so a couple steps down the road, including steps two after we've replaced the mercury here, but net result here is we've added an H to the less substituted side and the OCH3 to the more substituted side. And in our example, we did not form a single chiral center in the two sp3 carbons we formed. So you get a single achiral product here. Uh, again, it's Markovnikov. If we do form two chiral centers in some other example, it is an anti-addition. So again, the OCH3 and the H would end up on opposite sides, or at least they'd add to opposite faces of the molecule. Um, but again, no carbocat intermediate, so no rearrangements.